It's Mental Health Month. Why does it matter? Because you matter. Let's get fed. I'm JB, master presenter, former Fortune 50 sales executive, and your guide for everything sales and productivity. I'm the doctor, Dr. Andre Caruso, a clinical psychologist and your resident expert in behavior, mindset, and wellness. We hope you're hungry. It's time to get fed by JB and the doctor. Welcome to the Get Fed Podcast. I'm your host this week, the doctor, Dr. Andre Caruso. And we are so excited to kick off this podcast with the topic that is near and dear to my heart uh, and my career and basically everything that I do. But before we get into that, do me a favor. You know what I'm going to ask. Give us a like. Give us a subscribe if you haven't. Share with your friends. Click those notification buttons so you never miss anything that comes out from us. Rate us five stars if you're willing. And we just appreciate you and appreciate everything that you do for us always. Those little things matter a lot to us, and we really, really appreciate it. They help more than you possibly know. So, May. May is Mental Health Awareness Month. Some of you might have guessed it by the title. I'm a doctor of psychology. I am a psychologist, and I work a lot in the field for the last decade, uh, ranging from all kinds of populations. And what I've consistently seen is the stigma is still a real thing. It has gotten better over the years, but the stigma around uh, mental illness, mental health, mental wellness, well-being is still very high, uh, especially in certain cultures and areas of society. And that's something we just really need to stamp out. It is It keeps people from getting the help that they need and deserve. And a lot of it is just based on very outdated, either stereotypes, beliefs, and just inaccurate information. The reality is, just like you would go to a doctor for a cold or for a checkup, you don't even have to be sick. Sometimes you just go for your checkup to get your, your shots or to just make sure everything is A-OK. I'm a big fan of going to the doctor just to get baselines. Even if you're healthy, you want to have some good baselines so that if anything changes, you're aware that they made a change because you have something to reference it to. So that's your tip to go to the doctor often, get your checkup, get your blood work done, make sure your levels are right where you want them to be because it sets a good tone for your future and you'll be able to catch anything before anything bad happens because you'll have that information. The same thing is true about mental health. Going in and speaking to a therapist is just a good way to keep a good checkup, right? You are talking to someone who has uh, interest in your well-being, but no personal interest in your life. So you're talking to someone who's not jaded, no other things that they're looking for, except for whatever you're coming in to have a conversation about. You're the focus without any ulterior motives. And why is that so important? If you think about it, friends, family, people that we talk to a lot, they are great resources. They're great people to have conversations with. But even from their best way of trying to help, they still have some biases. They still have some ulterior motives, whether they're subconscious or not. They want things to be well for you for the most part. So they are going to keep that in mind as they're having the conversation with you. Sometimes they might even have their own motives in, in, in place, hopefully not in a negative way without any malice, but sometimes that just happens because we're human and our subconscious kicks in a lot of times. So having a space to have someone to talk to without any of those biases is just something that I can't recommend enough. So you do not have to have any kind of illness. You do not have to have any kind of symptoms. It could just be I want to have a checkup, have a conversation and see where we stand. But there are some times, much like when you go to a hospital needing a surgery or having some antibiotics or whatever it may be, you have some things that you're dealing with and you need some treatment around it. That is another great thing about the mental health industry is where you can get those checkups. You can get that help if you have some symptoms and if you are dealing with something. Highly trained, educated, ethical people there to help you, assist you along the way. 
that is key finding someone who's licensed in that arena if that's what you need so if your needs are that you have symptoms if it is something diagnosable make sure you're getting help from a licensed professional who's empirically based background science-based background that they're not just making something up because they went through it they're actually using data and and techniques that are empirically sound that have been tested, retested, and tested again, continue to be tested because things constantly change, right? But that is super important to make sure you're getting someone who's licensed, who is trained in that arena to make sure that you're getting help. Um, goodness of fit. There's a lot of other things that are at play, but super important that you know who you're dealing with and that they're held to some sort of higher standard. That doesn't mean coaches and things are not helpful, they can be. It's just specific to what you're working on, right? You want to make sure you're going to a person who's qualified to help you in that way with some actual qualifications. But the idea is we don't sometimes need to go that far. Sometimes we just need to have a good conversation. We need to share our feelings. We need to check in. As you might have heard in a recent podcast, I talked about handing out flowers for the month of May. Why? Because we want to give kudos and we want to get send some positivity to the people around us that support us and, and have our back and that we really appreciate for different reasons. So sharing those kind of thoughts is super powerful. Also, our own well-being as well as everyone else's that we're talking to. Uh, we want to set that tone and be able to share it for others. And we also want to be able to check in and check in on the people that you think you need to check in on the least. Check in with them because everyone assumes they're the person you need to check in on the least. And guess what? No one checks in on them. So if you have any friends or family that are always supporting everybody else and always there for everyone, make sure we're checking in on them too. Uh, that includes your therapist friends. You know, we spend a lot of time helping people a lot of time and uh, it's just assumed that we're okay. Sometimes we need people to check in with us as well. So be aware, have that awareness of the people around you, have the conversation. No one's ever going to be upset when you're checking in with them. Uh, and if they are, they'll set the boundary and then you know, right? But for the most part, if you're a friend's family, people you care about and you're checking in with them, they're going to be happy that you did. And a lot of times people just need to talk something out. Uh, we don't always have to offer advice. Matter of fact, we rarely should be. Most of the time we should be listening and just taking in what they're sharing so that we can be supportive in a way that isn't judgmental, that has no reason behind it. A lot of people know what they should be doing. Uh, they just need to vent and feel a little bit better about it. So be offer that ear, offer that shoulder so that you can be there for them to help build them up. And guess what? If you do that and they actually need some advice, they're going to ask you because now they feel safe and trusted that you are going to be there for them, that they feel more confident to ask you your opinion. But don't be offended if they don't follow your opinion, right? Because everyone's still their own person. But we want to put ourselves in those places to help each other, be more aware. If people are struggling, uh, it is actually quite okay to ask someone how they're feeling and if they have any thoughts of self-harm you've never no one will ever i don't want to use absolutes it's very rarely that someone uh, is affected in the way by asking that question either they are, have a plan or they don't have a plan you asking the question actually is a benefit most research shows that asking if someone's okay if they're in that really dark spot helps them knowing that other people are there. So don't ever be concerned that you're going to lead to someone doing something drastic. If anything, having that conversation for the most part shows people come away from that. So you can be that person. And I'm specifically not using the word because it gets flagged, but you probably have an idea of what I'm talking about right now. Um, conversations like this are good. Have conversations with your friends. Guys, talk about your feelings. Emotions are good. We have emotions. We're supposed to have different ones. We're supposed to have ranges of emotions. It's a good thing. We're allowed to have them. That just means we're alive. We're breathing. We're human. There's so much more I would say, and I would love to keep having the conversation. You know, I'm always open to continue this conversation with anybody that ever wants to have it. You know how to reach me. You just slide into those DMs. I'm always ready to have the conversation for you. Uh, Mental health matters. Mental wellness matters. It's so important to us that with Evolve Performance and Development and Evolve and Thrive, and obviously within my other world, uh, in, in my therapy practice, mental wellness comes up in everything that we do. But specifically Evolve Performance and Development and Evolve and Thrive, we've built mental wellness into our programs. There's no workshop, training, 
group, anything that we do has that component because mental wellness is so, so important. We need to be taking care of ourselves. We need to be drinking water. We need to be getting our sleep. We need to be doing all those things that matter. And we believe it's that important that we put it in every single thing that we do. And if we can do that, you can at least put it into most of the things you do or some of the things. And I'm talking to you business owners out there, make sure you're checking on your people as well. As I said, I can go on for hours. Um, I did another podcast with a friend that will be released soon uh, where we talked about this a little bit more. So you can dive into that one. We'll share that when it comes out. And then obviously, you know, so many ways to find us and have a conversation at JB the doctor, evolve and thrive.com, JB the doctor.com. Check out all the stuff we got going on. I'm actually, depending on when this episode actually comes out, speaking at the behavioral health conference here in Fort Lauderdale on uh, May 15th. So it's either about to happen or just happened, depending again on when this one releases. Um, but if it happens to be before, come check me out, come hang out with us and have the conversation. But you know, if you follow our social media, we always let you know when things are coming up. And on our website, we have event pages. So you can always be alert to what's going on around us and what we're doing. And we love your support. Uh, there's nothing better than when I'm out there on stage and can look out to the audience and see some familiar faces. It makes me just that much happier. Uh, and we like it happy, right? We're giving flowers. We're trying to be happy. We're, we're going to spread that positivity, good positivity, not toxic positivity. All right. I rambled enough for this episode. Um, take care of yourselves. I'm here for you. Uh, I will add the disclaimer that the advice you're hearing is just me talking. If you actually need any uh, mental health work or support or a therapist, find one. We can help refer, but that's not my job here. My job is to help just educate and share some information. So take it at that as what this is. Um, but just know we, we have your back. We got your support and we'll talk to you guys soon. Peace out, yo.